on the weekends, 1,500 pesos. But here's where it gets crazy with this here. Uh, all the food that's gonna be available here, this also for 1,500 pesos, it's only beer and wine as well with the whole thing. 1,500 pesos. Good morning, it's 11 a.m. Today we are gonna check out a place called New by Vikings. There are a ton of buffets here, especially in Manila. Vikings is probably one of the larger ones that's around and they have multiple different brands. This is New and this is in the podium in Mandaluyong. So we're gonna check this place out right now. But you have a ton of stations that are here in New. You have a huge dessert section, ice creams. You have tons of desserts and chocolates and cakes and everything over here. And over here, you've got a cheese station. There's crostinis here. There's dark chocolate and cured lamb. What is that? You have a salad station, a cold seafood station. You have a little pizza station back over here. There's an entire bread station back here with fruitcakes and croissants and focaccia and all types of different breads. Now here's where it gets a little bit more difficult. As you come walking back through all of the other stations here, there is just lines, lines of people everywhere. <laughs> Look, they even have a whole lechon station here. A little fresh bit of chicken shawarma happening. As I'm walking around talking to you guys, the place is getting more and more packed up with just lines and lines of people. So you guys understand here, it took me a month to be able to get a table inside here. I had to book that far in advance. And even when we got here this morning, there's still a massive line outside waiting to get in here. This place is super packed. I gotta go grab some food. So you guys have an idea here what I meant there by place getting packed up. Like I'm in the line right now, I'm trying to get, you can see how long it just goes down forever. I've got to pick up for me and M here. So she wants this French onion potatoes that I'm making a mess of. Spicy potatoes and mushrooms. Is that the one you want? You want the roast beef? Yeah, go for it. All right, no, I'm gonna get lechon with this. Lechon? Perfect, thank you boss. All right, let's go eat. Who cares if it's 11 a.m.? We're drinking wine. What I've got here is a meat feast that I have in front of me here. It's, I, I literally have a plate right now full of lechon and chicken shawarma with a couple of the spicy potatoes with mushrooms and red wine. And I'm gonna say this, you don't expect a whole lot when it's only, it's 1500 pesos, it's only wine. It's actually not a bad wine. It's actually pretty decent. I'm just gonna grab a piece of the lechon here I got myself a mouthful of the thick, heavy cartilage on the leech on there. So, but M just brought me a spice vinegar. So let's try the leech on one more time with the spice vinegar. Spice vinegar is perfect. The lechon, here's the thing, you know, you guys know I don't ever say anything bad about anything on camera. It's roast pork. So you really can't ever call roast pork bad. This is not like being out and getting a fresh lechon, no. But once again, for 1500 pesos, he probably slapped close to a half a kilo on my plate here. And if you're running around Manila right now, a half kilo is going to run you eight, eight, nine hundred pesos alone for a lechon. So 
all in all, really can't complain about it. Oh, that spice vinegar is good. The beef is good? Just so you guys know, M said that the beef is good. What do you got? Red wine, rosemary, thing. I want one of those crispy pieces. Here's a piece of her beef. She said it's good. And it's a red wine rosemary and a ro red wine rosemary sauce. <laughs> That's really good. I'm, no, 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 I got tons of stuff here. So here's what they do. They do not want you coming and just ordering a bunch of stuff up and wasting it. What happens is, is when you're done, if you left a bunch of stuff on your plate, they charge you uh, 100 pesos per 100 grams of anything that's left on your plate. So don't go and order if you can't, don't think you can eat it all. Yeah, I know I have a great big huge pile of meat in front of me right now, but I can eat it. Boom. So here's what I mean with the lechon. Like there's a piece of the skin there. It's been out long enough. It's just kind of rubbery. I'm normally like your skin is the best part of a lechon when it's fresh and it's all crispy. But here we go. Let's go potatoes. And here's where I'm the weird white guy. I've never been a big fan of potatoes, but it said spicy and they were roasted. It's not like a mashed potato or anything. So I wanted to try it. There's a little bit of spiciness to it. I would prefer rice or noodles every day of the week. Huh. I'm gonna go after this chicken shawarma here. There's nothing on this other than whatever they glazed it with on the spit. <laughs> the chicken itself is beautiful, very flavorful. The glaze that they're putting on it is just like a basic uh, yellow curry powder. But the chicken is so, it's really good. I could deal without that curry flavor. But, oh no, not too shabby. After a big plate of meat, I think I gotta go with something with a little bit of vegetables in it. So we're gonna get a little bit of salad here. Looks like there's raisins, there's dates, there's sunflower seeds. Looks like a grilled pear or something. I've gotta try this. This is that dark chocolate cured lamb. I've just got to see what this is like. Since we're here, we're going to do some sushi as well. Roasted sesame, salmon, and tuna roll. Let's try that. There's going to get an assortment of them. Let's go down here. I don't know what all we got here, but I'm just getting a bunch of them. You don't like, you don't like the, uh, you like wasabi? You sure? Hey, there's salad here. I have no idea what it is. There was no signage up on it. It just looks like iceberg lettuce. Like I said, there's some fruits, there's some nuts. Looks like there's a grilled pear or something in here. Let's see if it's a pear. Apple, grilled apple, a little bit of uh, cinnamon on it. But after a plate full of meat, even if it's just iceberg lettuce and some fruit, it's something. Mm, the dressing on this is awesome. I don't even know how to describe it to you. A little bit of sesame, maybe some ginger. Oh, get some fresh vegetables in is awesome. Oh yeah. Next thing I want to try out here, this because it sounded weird to me, is this dark chocolate cured lamb, I believe it was. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking. It's weird. It's, a, uh, it's mostly dark chocolate but there's these little chunks of the cured meat in it. And I'm not so sure the flavors work all that well together. 
If I never eat it again, I won't miss it. We've got all this sushi. I've got to eat it. Had to stop. Go get chopsticks. Got soy sauce here. Let's get a dollop of wasabi here. I'm gonna drop it into the soy sauce for just a second. Here we go. I love that sinus cleanse from wasabi. Let's get another big dollop on here. Go for another one. Here's the thing. It's a buffet. So for sushi, you're not expecting much. Uh-oh, like that. That's kind of what I expected to have happen there. We're gonna try another one. We're gonna double up the wasabi. That entire roll fell apart. But, for a buffet, the sushi is respectable. Oh yeah. Whoa, massive sinus cleanse. Show my, this is one of the things M just brought back. So as I sit here and eat something, M goes and grabs more shit. <laughs> On this platter, it's the only one that I am 100% certain what it is. It's show my. This looks to me like it could be hakao, which is a, uh, like a prawn dumpling. Uh, but it is kind of small, so maybe not. She's got some calamansi and soy sauce mixed up here. She should have thrown some chili in it, but she's soft. <laughs> so you're him whether that was hakao or not. It's definitely a prawn dumpling. This thing here, I have no idea what it is. Em said there are there's no signage up there at all. <laughs> Hundred percent blank. I have no idea what that is. You're getting a hint of sesame. This thing here, I have no earthly idea what it is. It's got some green wrapper all the way around it. Looks like it could be a pork sausage. It's a Japanese shomai, so it's going to be pork and a little bit of seafood right in the middle. So it's going to be a Japanese fake pork and a Japanese fake crab. A Japanese fake seaweed. A Japanese fake seaweed. It's fake Japanese. Show my. Ah, I'm sitting here shaking this and it's going everywhere. Wait, I'm not lying there. Like it's it's imitation all the way around. That is definitely Connie. It's a uh, imitation crab that's stuffed in the middle of it. The green outer layer. I have no idea what that is. That's supposed to mimic seaweed, but does not taste like seaweed at all. I gotta do one more thing here before I try and finish off with dessert. I am gonna get myself a seafood paella here. So we're gonna get a little bit of that. Let's grab some of these mussels. Oh, the black olives in there. Let's get a prawn in here. All right, come down this way. We're gonna get M some Shepherd's pie somewhere here. It does not look good, but we're gonna get it for her. She wants shepherd's pie. I'm getting her shepherd's pie. While we waited for a happy birthday song to end, uh, M went up and got more stuff. So more cheese. Uh, I'm excited. I want to try this one here for you guys. That's a baked brie. It looks very different than a baked brie I've ever had before. Tons of fruits and nuts all over it and almost like a pie crust. So I'm grabbing a spoon just quickly. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this baked brie. <laughs> just okay. But now I've got to go after this uh, seafood paella. And yes, I'm gonna try the shepherd's pie on camera, despite the fact that I know that I already hate it. One of the reasons I got excited about the seafood paella was because of olives. I haven't had olives in forever, and I'm sure that these are just jarred olives. Um, no pits in them at all, but it's still gonna be an olive, so it's gonna be good. Wow. Hey, like for something that's sitting out on a, just basically what's a hot table, I spent three months of my life in Spain 
Hey, paella all over the place. That is really good. Oh, yeah. Definitely do this. All right, here we go. We got a shrimp peel. We got more of the rice from the paella. Very, very respectable paella. I'd like to say that that's got to be an influence of Spanish colonization. But would that be something that would date that far back? Or paella? I, I really don't know. But a very respectable paella. Oh, yeah. Okay, just because she got it and she wants me to, I'm going to try this shepherd's pie. Despite the fact that I know I'm not gonna like it. Mostly I'm not gonna like it because it's mashed potatoes. Here we go. The roast is what saves it. You almost forget about the mashed potatoes in it. They're still there and I know my dislike of them, but the roast in this is very flavorful. I'm not bad. Last thing I'm gonna be able to do here, this is uh, desserts. So what I did, and M tells me I'm weird, is I've got ube, avocado, and pistachio. She's not weird, because she got avocado and bubble gum. And vanilla. Here's another thing you'll notice about uh, Vikings. Got another glass of wine. After they see you drinking a little bit, they start getting really short on the pores. Totally understandable at 1,500 pesos though. I am not complaining about that at all. Here we go. Uh, first one I've got here, this is avocado. Not too shabby. Let's hit this ube. Because I love ube so much. And it's all dipped now in avocado and pistachio. Almost a year ago now, if you would have told me anything about a purple yam and desserts, I would have told you you were crazy. Unbelievable. Really good. It's getting all mixed up. So I got pistachio and a little bit of ube here. Oh, wow. The pistachio is awesome. Has pistachio nuts in it as well. This is awesome. Okay, so I just got the itemized receipt on everything there. Still extremely affordable. Like you really can't go wrong with the prices that you're getting here. So there was uh, 3,176 is what it actually ended up for the total bill. There was a service charge of 141.78 on it. Pesos, super cheap. So a little over 3,000 pesos, it's like 60 bucks for two people, and that's only wine, only beer. Like, you cannot go wrong with that. Like, definitely if you're in the area, come check this place out. Definitely worth it. That's it, I'm out of here. You guys be sure to tune in next week, see what else I get up to.